Hello and welcome, I am Scrapperlock, and this is City of Heroes on the private server Everlasting. We're with our martial arts super reflex Scrapper, who's level 30. This is Silver Phoenix. She's a member of the group, the Daybreak Initiative, and we are in the middle of doing the story arc for um, Ashwin Lannister, so I'm going to call him up. And he says, this is the Oogleman story arc, After the fifth column, uh, raid on the old FBI files, I did some checking. Turns out that the World War II era hero Thunderhead is still alive in retirement. Jim Thunderhead Bartlett goes by his civilian name these days. It looks like someone's out to upset his retirement. His granddaughter just reported that he's been kidnapped by the fifth column. Unfortunately, fortunately, my anonymous tipster still is still on the ball. I have a good idea where we can find him. So we're going to go and help Jim Thunderhead Bartlett. So I'm going to go head over to um, Independence Port, and uh, I'm going to um, start out this mission, and we'll continue the story arc. As we go, I want to mention some stuff that's just recently happened regarding City of Heroes servers. Um, so I mentioned some of this way at the beginning. Uh, when the game was um, kind of not being run at all, we had... A sing there was a single server that was uh, being done in secret, right? And that server was run by a guy named Leandro. And um, Leandro's server, which I think was called Resurgence, was run for about six years without anybody but the few people who were playing on it knowing about it. Um, and then um, it was outed by a guy named Destroyer Destroyer, who had been playing on the server, and then he gave an interview to a girl named Bree. Gosh, I can't remember her name, but um, she's a reporter, an editor for Massively Overpowered, which is a website about MMOs. So she did a she published an article about it, and it made the rounds in middle of April of this year. Right now it's June, and um, so there's a huge blow up. Uh, people were really mad at Leandro and anybody else who was involved in administrating this server, which. They were calling SCORE, and I don't remember what the acronym is for. And so, um, eventually, Leandro was prevailed upon to release the code, and a new server was put up, like a test server, that was called Bree. And it turned out Leandro was helping the people with the Bree server, and uh, they named it Bree after the girl who broke the story, because if it hadn't been for her, there wouldn't have been a server. They ran it for a handful of days. Now, this all happened... Um, the news broke. It was a big deal on the City of Heroes. This work gets confusing. The City of Heroes Reddit, right? Um, R slash City of Heroes. And um, the, there was also a very small, at the time, a few hundred people, I guess, uh, Discord for City of Heroes, right? And these were just basically the Reddit and the Discord were people who used to play City of Heroes, missed the game, and wanted you know to talk about it and they would sometimes fantasize about bringing it back they would talk about all the different um emulators that were up such as city of titans and ship of heroes and um how those were going and people who were trying there was another group trying to call called um i can't remember the acronym that they were trying to make an emulator and they'd gotten to the point where you could like move around the maps but they didn't have powers in and stuff like that and I even saw some gameplay video, and I was like, wow, I really remember these maps. I wish I could play the game, you know. And so the Reddit and the um, Discord were all the people who were interested in the game. And when it became possible to play it again, the Discord and the Reddit became much bigger. Thousands of people got into them. And, and at first, everybody was kind of working together. So you had a guy named Innocuous who was uh, kind of running the City of Heroes Discord. And he was involved in the code and the development of the Bree server and so forth. And um, so he was kind of developing things. And then all of a sudden the Bree server went down. It disappeared. And it turned out that somebody from 4chan, an innocuous is from 4chan as well, which is a, basically a website of trolls. Um, somebody from 4chan had decided for fun, I think, to troll... Um, innocuous and some of the other people there's a guy named yuri who was running actually 
physically running this server and administrating the actual hardware. Um, and they basically tried to, like, basically mimic the cease and desist letter from NCSoft. And so those guys panicked and they turned the server off. Right? And so um, it became. You know, so then people wanted, you know, how do we get another server up and so forth. The Discord was sort of rife with people talking about in the coding channel about how to make the code and so forth, how to, how to like, how to run it, how to compile it, how to edit it, and so on. And so it was all one group. And then there's a boss, and we got it, there's Thunderhead. Okay. So, um, so anyway, what happened was there was a big fight because Innocuous said something that was deemed to be you know, homophobic or whatever on the, um, on the Discord. Oh man, I gotta watch out with these AoEs because he just got hurt. Anyway, so this blew up and the Reddit admins um, got mad at the Discord admins and so... Oh god. Um, oh wow. I gotta watch out here. Um, so anyway, the Reddit admins got mad at the Discord admins and they broke with them. Right, so Reddit, the Reddit group created their own Discord. So now there was a Reddit Discord, and when these guys created the Homecoming servers, which is the cluster that I'm on now, the Reddit people didn't like that. So they created, they said, we're going to create our own server, right? And so they had basically created the Splinter Discord and a Splinter server because they were mad at and they didn't agree with the philosophy or the morality or whatever you want to call it of the homecoming people. And great. Well, I need some more vampires to get a badge, so this is good. Um, and so they created their own Discord and they created their own server. That server eventually became called Pleiades. And the Pleiades server um, was up for a couple weeks. It has now been taken down. Um, and so it turns out there was some sort of infighting among the people who were, oh god, among the people who were, um, administering that server, I guess, and, um, I gotta try to make sure that these guys don't hit him. one heck of a set of ambushes. Um, and so... Where is he? He's over there. And so, um... Yeah, so I guess there was some infighting. They got mad at each other. And, uh... Whoever's running the server took it down. Or they're taking it down tonight. Um, and so... How's he doing? Oh, his hit points are full. And so, yeah, um, everybody who was playing on that server for the last couple of weeks is probably going to lose their characters. Um, Alright, so we got a clue. And Thunderhead Story. Good to see you, kid. I thought I was done for. The old lightning ain't what it used to be, I guess. Those Nazi goons brought a fellow to interrogate me. When I saw him, my jaw nearly dropped to the floor. He was a spitting image of Wolfgang Ubermann, a German intelligence officer that I crossed paths with back, paths with, paths with back during the war. Um, heck, he even remembered stuff that only Ubermann should have known. So yes, this is clearly a guy from the past. Anyway, um, so I thought that was sort of an interesting little drama. Um, so the Pleiades service, server, as far as you know, is basically gone, and I don't know what's going to happen. One of the problems they're having is that, I guess whoever's running it did basically make the database available so that people could transfer their characters. One of the problems they're having is that the Pleiades server allowed people for a while to just make a level 50 for a server event, and I guess they could keep those characters. So then people were like, well, are the level 50s that are transferring in people who legitimately got there, or people who just started at level 50 one day because of a server event? And so there's a whole lot of argument about whether they should let those people in or not, or how they're going to 
determine that. So I don't know what's going to happen. All right. So the Bartlett family wanted to extend their thanks to you for rescuing Jim. Who's doing fine, by the way. From what he told, from what he told you, I'm starting to think that this Wolfgang Uberman character may be the key to all of it. But it doesn't seem like we have all the pieces together. Uberman the Unknown continues with, I got another anonymous tip about the fifth column. This time it seems like a normal fifth column operation. No browsing document archives or kidnapping historians and old heroes. This time they're raiding a Lockhart Aerotech lab working on a prototype defense system. Uh, yeah, Lockhart Aerotech works with the Sky Raiders, so I don't know about that one. I wonder if Lockhart's working on, you know, the fifth column is maybe trying to steal Sky Raider technology? I don't know. We just did the General Z story arc that proved to me that Lockhart's working for the Sky Raiders. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's always sad when this, one of these servers goes down. It is definitely a concern that I have with the this server, Everlasting, and the Homecoming cluster. Um, how long are they going to last before somebody pulls the plug? Um, I've talked to some people who, you know, they really power leveled and got to level 50 very quickly, and they've got you know, three or four characters to level 50 already while I'm still on level 30. And I'm trying, I'm like, I'm trying to savor it. And, and what some of them have said is, well, yes, you can try to savor it, but what happens, you know, if next month they pull the plug, you'll have never gotten your character to level 50. And I'm not sure I care about that that much. I, yes, I would like to get her to 50, but I, I, I mostly want to just play her. And one of the reasons I'm making these videos is so that if it turns out that I, um, that, that this game gets yanked and all the live servers crash or whatever and we don't have City of Heroes say in a few months anymore again say cease and desist letters go out or whatever if that happens I can always look back at my videos and watch them and at least relive some of the experience of playing City of Heroes um, and that's having video and watching it isn't as good as playing it but it's better than nothing and I definitely know when I uh, started watching Let's Play videos of games like Europa Universalis and Civilization and stuff, I remember watching these thinking, gosh, I wish I had made Let's Plays back in the day of City of Heroes because then at least I could watch it even if I can't play it. Now, um, you know, of course, back in the day, it was very would have been a lot harder to make a Let's Play because, you know, my computer didn't have the power that my computer has now right um, and back in you know say 2007 this was a this was quite a strain that these graphics were you know pretty rough on a computer now they're like trivial for it all right so all of that's over with now let's pay more attention to the actual game so I don't get killed like I almost did the last time we're in the Lockhart lab and we know the fifth column are here so we have to defeat all so we have to defeat everybody in the lab I do have stealth, I've got to remember that. Um, there's usually guys on both sides here. Now we're finally on plus ones. These guys are level 31, that's good. Now these things are going to hit me because they are AoEs. And so I, again, you can see up here, I have 32 or 3% against regular attacks, but only 7% against AoEs. That will change on level 35 when we get evasion, but until then, we really have no defense against area effect attacks. Or minimal defense against area effect attacks, let's, call, let's say it that way. Okay, he went over, so I'm going to just switch to this guy. Now where'd this guy go? Is he down here still? Where is he? Come here, you. Gotcha. Now these guys are next. Ah, we got a perfect set of inspirations. That's good. Perfect for me. That's it's what I like, right? Now, at level, I think, 40, we get one more row. At that point, I'm going to keep all these the same, except I'll have a second red up here, I believe. I 
like that's how I used to usually do it. Okay, there's a elevator here. Again, there can be up to five levels in this map. So this is our second of potentially five. These guys are so much easier than Sky Raiders because you don't have to worry about this stupid um, <coughs> um, shield generators. this guy go to? They've been so weird, you know, you knock them off and they don't come back up. Where is he going? Alright. <clears throat> Dead end. I feel like I'm going to scenes. I will try to mute it if I can. Yep, there's more AoE. I'm trying to knock these guys down. Of course, I didn't knock down the one I wanted. Yep, you see, these are all AoEs that they're shooting at me, that the exploding things. Looks like a bazooka. So I don't have much defense against those. Holding up alright though, my defenses. Well, there's somebody down there, but let's take these guys out. And see, they're shooting AOEs at me too. So, the big disadvantage of the fifth column is they do a lot of area effect attacks. Uh, Nemesis does as well. So once we start getting into them, they're going to be very difficult until we get our AOE defenses. Which again doesn't happen until 35. And I just aggroed those guys, so let's beat him up. Another AOE, see? So that'll help a little bit. You see our AOE defense went up to 20% now. Takes care of everybody in this room, it looks like. Right? There's nobody in there. Alright, because it's a defeat all, so we gotta get everybody. And now we're gonna move on to this other side, which will probably have another elevator. These guys are plus zero, so they're gonna be really easy. This guy's huge, it's like it's like eight feet tall, look at him. Okay. There's Lieutenant, Megman, Megman, all right. Soft control. Lock him back. Got him. And now Mechman. Now those are not AoEs, those are single target attacks. So I do have defense against those, although he's hitting me pretty hard anyway. There we go. And now we get into our elevator. And we go to the third level. Start with these guys, I guess. I always love when I knock them all down like that. It's nice, soft control. So, we don't need any of these. 
these enhancements. That we can use. Oh no, range. No, we don't know we don't need that. I was thinking of that, which is run speed. Alright. More buddies. Look how fast we take guys out now. If they're if they're on level to us. And there's a Valkyrie. These guys again are doing AOE. Don't need that. And their explosions AOE as well. Fortunately. We managed to dodge most of that, so we still have full health bar. Look at that, we're almost done. You can see there's only a few guys left. Over here. That's it? No boss? Hmm. No glowy to click on? Okay, we got a clue. Signed orders. You found orders on one of the fifth column soldiers you defeated at the Lockhart Aerotech lab. The orders list several items to steal, including some high-tech equipment that was produced for the Portal Corporation. They also give locations of fifth column bases. These stolen items should be delivered to. The papers are signed by Ubelman. So, Portal Corp. Sounds like time travel to me. Again, I think Ubelman either came from an alternate Earth or came from the past in, into the present, which would be his future. Okay, so the Anonymous Stifter is still trying to help us find Ubelman, or stop him at least, but something doesn't add up. How does this information, how does this informant know so much about the fifth column? Why weren't those orders you found encoded? And who is Wolfgang Ubelman? So, now we have the signed orders you found on the fifth column. Place this Lieutenant Ubelman at one of their underground bases. The place will be defend well defended, but you may be able to find out some answers there. Uh, if you can fight your way through them, will you investigate? And we will, but we'll do that in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've been Scrapperlock, and this is City of Heroes, and I'll see you next time.